Hello and welcome back. Today is a great day. I finished all my learning exams. My last one was today. It's Saturday currently. And I finished it. And I'm so happy it's done. It didn't go the best, I'm not gonna lie. She put on a rogue question, which no one was expecting because we were expecting her to go a different way with the way she was talking. I'm gonna get like a C something. I'm definitely not gonna get a high mark because I didn't. Let me just put it this way. I was making my writing big, so it looked like I wrote more. So that's great. So the only thing I have to do left for this semester is do an essay that's due on Monday. So right now it's the evening. There's no one else in the house. I'm in my accommodation. I'm gonna get a Chinese. I'm gonna start the Life with the Walter Boys TV show because everyone is talking about it and it's literally just like a B-Tech, the summer I turned pretty show. It's It looks like it's the exact same, like how haven't they got like copyright issues? I haven't read a book since Tuesday I think, but Tuesday I read a lot. I read like 100 pages on Tuesday which I really shouldn't have, but I mean I can't, I can't regret it now, I can't do it. But I I might read something today. It just depends. So the plan is Chinese food, watch something, something else, and then, I don't know. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Let's go. I got the goods. They're, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Like this is, I feel like it's so small, but I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat. This may have to be a very bad idea because this light is so bright and I'm getting blinded, but it's currently 10 past nine and I had my food, it was beautiful. Um, I'm actually reading another book too, I just forgot to tell you. I'm reading Caught Up, I think, by Liz Ford. It's the third book in the Windy Miles, Windy book series. Um, yeah, I've, I think I read four pages or five, so that was great. But yeah, I've just been sitting here, I've been watching the TV show, The Walter Boys thing. And I'm not gonna lie, the first like 10, 15 minutes, I wasn't into it. The acting was so bad. But then I got used to it and I'm into it now. I'm on episode three. So I'm going to stay here for a bit more longer. And I'm going to, um, you know, watch more of it. It's an exciting time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very tired, though. Very tired. But I just keep on thinking about the essay because I need to do that. I just want to come on and say that this mother in this book is unhinged. Someone needs to put like a, a restraining thing on her mouth. Like I don't say this lightly, but she is unhinged. Okay, that's all. Okay, hello, welcome back. I have to keep this so brief because the final of Ireland's Fittest Family is on right now. Like the final, final bit. And it's on break right now, so I'm gonna do a little quick chat with you. But I'm obviously back at home. I read like 80 pages today of this book. I'm surprisingly really enjoying this book. The premise of this book is that the main character, Mariel, she has like, she was prophesied to be this really powerful, magical person, but like she can't do it, but she's really good with plans for some reason. But anyways, she summons a demon by accident and he has to stay with her. He has to stay with her until she gives him her soul. It's so funny because the, so the demon guy, he's really entertaining to read about because he's not from the human world, so I don't know, it's just so entertaining. It's like a newborn child coming into the world. I'm halfway through, I think. I'm having a good time. But yeah, I'm just gonna go back now and watch the final of Ireland's first family. I'm so excited. I want my family to win. They better win. I am genuinely devastated right now. My family lost. The family I wanted to win, lost. Why? Because it's always the parent. The parent cannot get up the ramp. I'm sad. I'm angry. I'm sweating. Great combo. <laughs> It's time to rise and grind. Oh my god. Hello. I am the chauffeur today. I have to take my brother. So my brother is in the country again. Hello, welcome back. And I have to chauffeur him to everywhere because he's not insured. So here I am being the chauffeur, but I'm doing my essay. I've done a thousand and four hundred words, I think. And then I was logged out from one of the websites that I was trying to use, like the really one of the really good ones that were good. Obviously, the really good ones there were good, but I just got logged out of it for my usage. What does that mean? But okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my essay. I'm currently going to a shopping center with mom. How is my hair looking? It's looking a bit. Okay, I'm gonna detach this curl because this chunky curl is absolutely chunky. I submitted my last essay. Feeling good. I think I'm gonna get a book. But I'm finally finished this semester. I got books. So, 
I got four books. I went into Eason's and the works and I became a member for the works. Very excited because I never used to go into the works at all. But yeah. Oh, my brother's home from the gym. Anywho. The first book I got was Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. And I'm really excited to read this. This was very much an impulse buy because I don't even think I have this book on my one to read. On Goodreads. It's a really chunky book. It's set in Ireland. And then the next three books are in a series. But they're not the first book in the series. So I can't start this yet. But it is Heartless by Elsie Silver. Powerless by Elsie Silver. And Reckless by Elsie Silver. I got these three bad boys just because... They were three for nine euro, so I got them, I got all of them, as you do. And obviously this is not the first one in the series, so I can't start it. And these have been like all over TikTok, like they're, they're such a popular series. And I really hope I like them because I bought them. <laughs> like I really hope I like them. But yeah, that was the, that was a little cute little haul. I have read nothing today of this book. Right now I'm gonna get my clothes ready for work. So I'm working from Tuesday to Friday this week. And then it's gonna be Christmas, so I'm excited. I really feel like a schoolboy with this outfit, like, just because, like, the pants are so low. <laughs> I'm gonna go. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but I just am gonna look like this for the next week until Friday, because I could not be bothered to go into actual clothes after work. So, it is currently... 20 past six. Yesterday night, I read 100 pages of this book. And then today, I read 100 pages at work. And I finished it. So I've ended up giving this book four stars. I really enjoy this for some reason. The characters were all really likable. The setting was nice. It was good vibes all around. I actually really recommend. I really want to read the next book in the series. The next book is definitely Enemies to Lovers. Very, very excited. But right now, not right now. But I'm going to pick up, I'm pretty sure, Finding 13 by Chloe Walsh. Um, because yesterday night I kept on thinking about it. I really wanted to start it. And just reading like the um glossary, it's so funny because so obviously this it's set in Ireland, so there's Irish terminology. And it's so funny reading this and like knowing what it is, but I don't really know what the last word is. Like I've never heard of Corker in my whole life. So I don't really know what that's about now. And the name pronunciations, like I know all these names already, like Aoife, Quiva. Ah, I'm so excited. I really hope I like it though. Cause this, like this is such a commitment of a book. The one thing I like about myself, just this one thing, is that I'm not really too intimidated by big books, which is great. Cause this is a big book and so many books that I have loved and I really want to read are big books. And I just, I'm like, cool, big book, more pages to enjoy myself, hopefully enjoy myself. It's set in a private school. It's a girl, her first day is the school and there's a rugby guy. And yeah, I'm excited. I don't really want to read any more of the back of it because I don't want to really know anything going to this book. Yes, I'm very excited. Um, I'm either right now, I'm gonna either watch a movie or, yeah, that's it. <laughs> either gonna watch a movie or, or read. No, I won't read. I'm not feeling reading right now. God, I look so bad. I look so red, oh my God. Anywho see you either later on today or tomorrow. I have just done a video, an ASMR video, because, ugh, because fuck it, I really want to do, I really want to make an ASMR channel, because I did the video, and I've really enjoyed it, and it was just so nice to do, and really easy, and I just felt really excited again, because honest to god, I've been doing this, this channel, YouTube, for so many years, and I don't really get that excited anymore, which is really sad, but this has made me excited again and i really i just really want to do it so i made the first video i think i'm going to upload it tomorrow and that's another thing with asmr it's so easy because you don't have to edit it really it's currently 10 past 8 and i am tired and i think i'm going to go to bed early because waking up early has been absolutely knocking it out of me but reading updates because i have i have a lot ladies and gentlemen i have read a lot i'm on page 290 
of Binding 30. I'm almost halfway through. I don't know if I told you, but this book is like almost 800 pages. So the only issue, and it's not really a big issue that I have with this book, and I don't even think it's an issue. It's just that, okay, so I've read 290 pages. But in those 290 pages, I felt like I watched a full TV series. Like I've read like at least 500 pages. Like what does that mean? Does that mean like I'm enjoying it? Like I am really enjoying the book. The whole scenario, the whole situation, the whole dialogue, everything is in the book. This book does have very vulgar language and I think it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea and I'm enjoying this cup of tea. And I almost died when I was like, hi Johnny. And then I forgot her name. I was just gonna say her name, but I forgot it. Rewind, reenact that again. I'm not reenacting it. I'm just saying the word. <laughs> but I almost died when he said, when Johnny said, you know, hi Shannon. And then she's like, hi Johnny. Are you joking? I almost died. I almost died on the floor, wept, cried. I don't know why, but he's definitely like a grumpy character and he has a soft spot for her. And she, she has the worst time imaginable with her family. Like they are pieces of shits. Besides like her siblings, they're grand. Like, her father is disgusting. Like there is a lot of trigger warnings in this book. Like, there's sexual contact, explicit sexual content, graphic violence, mature themes, triggers, and mad language. Um, but yes, I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. M has good taste, which I honestly I never doubted because me and M usually like the same books and we dislike a lot of the same books. Like we both don't like Libra Dugo which is really strange because I just have never really met someone who didn't really like either Six of Crows or Shadow and Bone. I know a lot of people don't like love Shadow and Bone, but I know loads of people love Six of Crows. And in fairness, I wish I could. Like, I love the TV series because I don't think I like Libra Dugo's writing. Therefore, I do not like her book. Work has been work. <laughs> That's all I've been doing, coming back from work, sitting down, reading, next day work tomorrow is the last day of work before christmas holidays and god i still need to do something i need to paint a picture for my dad i'm gonna give that for him for his christmas present yeah i'm gonna go catch you guys sometime hello people how are we yes i have pseudo cream all over my face i'm looking like a late snack right now but i have so many reading updates it's crazy binding 13 we are on page 474 I am, I think I'm about like 60% away from finish, no, I'm 60% through the book and I'm really trying not to crack the spine because it's kind of, it's a, it's a nice book, it's a nice spine, I don't want to crack it, Um, but yes, I am really, really enjoying this book. It is definitely a slow burn because the main characters haven't even like kissed or anything, which I love, I love a good slow burn, that's why I love Mariana Zapata. It's very much a thing of him really wanting her and him then also not wanting her because he has this really good career going for him. He's going to go on the like Ireland team of rugby and he wants to focus only on rugby and she's kind of taking up all his thoughts, which, you know, is taking away from his ability to play rugby and also because he has an injury which he's not treating at all, which is so dumb of him because he's just going to get worse. I'm just continuously really liking this book. I wake up in the morning before work, I read like 50 pages. At break then I read like a combined, let's say 50 pages. And yeah, I'm having such a good time. Mother Dearest went to the library and I got a book from the library. I got Firefly Lane by Christian Hanna. And this is a TV show too, I think. So there's friendship, jealousy, anger, hurt and resentment. Sisters, I think. No, best friends, sorry. Whoopsies. I just really like Christian Hannah. Like I really love The Nightingale, The Four Winds. What other books have I read from her? I feel like I've read so many. Oh God, okay, so Christian Hannah has released a fair amount of books. So I have read Winter Garden, which almost made me cry. Where are the other ones? Okay, but I can't see the other ones I read. <laughs> When I ordered this book, I was in a really like, I want to be sad mood, you know, I want to maybe cry, maybe. So yeah, that was, that was, that was the book updates. But yes, I don't have any more work now. Finished work for the year, which sounds really weird to say. I was going to work next week, but dad has taken it off, so we might do something during those times. Right now, I'm going to get a cup of tea and I'm going to either watch YouTube or read this book.
because I'm also I need to upload my ASMR video my first one on my ASMR channel did I talk to you about that, that? I think I did um but yeah I'm uploading it today and I'm very excited I'm very very excited good bye I've just been given the people that are going to be in my group for next semester so instead of doing a module I have a FYP and there's a group of 16 of us it's all we're all in the same course but do I talk to most people in my course no do I know a lot of people in my course no is my course big no <laughs> so I should know I should know them and I'm I genuinely wish I didn't go on my school emails right now because I've seen who's in the who's in my group and I just generally don't want to talk why are group projects I think I could have chosen a solo one but that would have been so much work so did not do that but I just generally just don't want to do this group project I don't want to interact I don't want to I don't want to that was all I had to say it is 20 past 9 I'm on page 502 of binding 13 so we're making good progress I have about 280 pages left I really wish I didn't look at my emails now I'm gonna be stressing about this I'm gonna be thinking about this but there's no reason for me to think about it because I can't change it thinking about it I wish I could change stuff change stuff just by thinking see you tomorrow's I have finished binding 13 and I just want to up and cry and die so this book is 801 pages so I read almost 300 pages today this morning it's only like 12 o'clock but I'm doing a 24 hour readathon today so I'm going to actually finish this vlog today or right now I'm going to finish the vlog right now so I can start that one I've already started it I don't know what I'm saying but I finished this book and I absolutely loved it dude the ending of this book had me in a chokehold <sighs> I just wanted to cry so badly for the main character because she's just going through an absolutely shite, shite time. And I just want to hug her. I want to want to hug her. I want to say I'm so sorry that you're in this absolutely horrible family. But I absolutely adore this book. The chemistry between Johnny and Lynn, Johnny and um, Shannon is so good and it's so pure and it's such like a secondary school romance. Um, but I do think they would last. But yes, that was... That was me. This is the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, peace.